Happy Homebrew Wednesday! Okay, so today I was lucky enough to uh, acquire a tilt hydrometer. Um, really cool little thing. Seen a, seen a few people online um, talking about them. I know uh, Rusty um, in England has got one and, um, and he had a nice little uh, a build video. You should see uh, his, it's pretty cool. Well, this is what it is. It's like a little bug, robot bug. Um, and what it does is it goes into your into your fermenter when you put uh, your word in there and your yeast and then you never have to open it up it sends information um, through an app um, from this little over back to the app and then this is the app so search your searches okay and it's found it it runs uh, runs Bluetooth so and it gives you a specific gravity and it gives you the temperature um, so there's no, it takes the guesswork right out of it. I, I'm going to find it most useful, I think, for uh, when I dry hop things. Like I've got another brew now, I've got a dunkle coming up now. Um, at my at my wit's end, it's, uh, it's the last last uh, batch of the year, it's a dunkle wise, and so it's the last wit of the year. And I dry hop it uh, when specific gravity has uh, halved. So it's fermented out halfway, I usually put the the dry hops in and I don't have to guess or take readings and risk contamination this will give me real time and I won't have to ever crack open the fermenter until I need to and then when it ferments right down I'll know it's fermented right down I can take it out and uh, and put it straight in the keg so uh, and also this will uh, go up into the cloud so you can name the beer that it's going in um, and put it up onto the cloud as well, into the cloud setting. There's a, a few different ways to do that. I've got my own cloud I'll use. So, and I'll do the specific gravity and I'll put it up in a chart um, as well. And then you can name the beer so you can keep it um, until next time you brew the beer and you can, you know, track the progress and see if you can get the consistency down because it's all about consistency. Put the name of the beer in and then. Uh, if something does go wrong you get some off flavors you can sort of try tracking down what happened in the brew so i'm going to do a little bit of a test here uh this is just uh warm water i uh, got it in the right way yeah it has to go up the right way and we're going to see if it can um see how warm the water is and uh obviously we want it to be close to zero well okay wow that's quick okay so that's 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 pretty quick so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, also, check check with this because you know when it, it's not, not a, it's it's not for certain. So let's see how this thing goes. So at the moment there's a, a big difference here in the temperature. Hang on. It's on. Okay. So I don't know how long this is going to take to come up to temperature. I suppose it's been out in the cold garage. But the temperature at the moment in the glass is 85 and on the screen it's 72. Okay, so it's coming up. So um, I think specific gravity is right. This is just out of the tap. Um, okay, the temperature is coming up. So I think the temperature is one of, one of those things. Is once it gets up to temp, it's going to be accurate. But I wonder how long it's going to take to get up to temp. Because it, it, this is reading 85, 83. No, oh, hang on, I screwed up again. Um, yeah, it's coming up, but okay, well, it's not as quick as the rest. Okay, so what I was going to do now is put in some cold water and see if that changes it. So it came up to 75, so the temperature um, takes a little bit longer to come up than the specific gravity. The gravity is obviously very, very accurate and correct. Um, judging that this should be close, very close to one or less, like water should be. Uh, that's the unit floats in there. It has to be one way up, so it has to be uh, straight up and down. And if you put it upside down, it doesn't work either. So I hope I haven't done that. <laughs> and now, yeah, it's going down, but slowly. Okay. Well, it's something good to know because. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm usually going to keep this probably out in the garage with the rest of the stuff this time of the year in Seattle. It's it's pretty low. It's uh, what have I got it on? Oh, it comes back 73. Yeah, okay. So now it's going down. Hmm. Uncalculated. 
Oh, well, it's still, it's, and it counts, it updates every eight seconds, six seconds. Okay, every six seconds. All right. I wonder how long it's going to take down. I'd say it's going to take a long time to get down or up to the actual temperature that it is. Let's do another temperature reading now, just with the. So it's down to 56. Hmm. Yeah, it's coming down. That's probably going to take a good 10 minutes to accurately get to the right temperature. But obviously, when it's in the fermenter, it's going to be pretty consistent the, the temperature. So probably uh, track it a lot quicker than you know the initial shock of going from the cold garage straight into it. But anyway, I'll keep you updated on it. This will be going into uh, my next brew, which I'm going to probably brew tonight after the kids go to bed. So. See some more footage, John. I've got another brew review of uh, a beer I brewed a little while ago, a uh, raspberry blonde. So we'll see you for that. All right, see you later. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, and it's leveled down to 54 degrees. Um, 53.1. That's pretty accurate. So initially, no, it's not, not as accurate as a specific gravity, but it'd be a rookie mistake to use just one way of delivering the temperature. I run one straight out of the work chiller, which is very accurate. And I'd say that's the way to go, but one degree is pretty, pretty good. All right, thanks. Okay, got the tilt, um, got my wort, so this way up and it turns itself on. I think the light starts to flash when it, it when it uh, it turns itself on and activates, and it only activates when it's upright. So you store it laying down. It's in. Okay, so wait a couple of minutes, and I'll turn on the app. Actually, no, let's turn on the app now and see what we got. Tilt. Okay, trying to locate. Scanning, scanning. Oh, there we go. Specific gravity. It'll take a, it takes a while to um, even itself out apparently. So that's uh, pretty close to it. This is a Dunkel Weissen. Um, so pretty close to where it needs to be. Temperature. Well, the temperature is going to come up. This has been out in the garage for a little while. So um, it's going to be colder than what the actual wort is. The wort uh, just came through. Well, actually, the first pass through the Duda diesel before I. Uh, Turn the water down, it was coming out at like 45 degrees. It, that thing is amazing plate chiller and I chilled the whole lot down in there in like five minutes or less. Um, so I can't, I can't, uh, can't rave on about that thing long enough, but I'll, we'll save that for another time. Um, yeah, so the temperature's starting to come up now. Pretty cool, very cool. So I'll just cap that off and I'll never need to uh, know when the specific gravity of it is. And this one's gonna be dry hopped um, when the, uh, when when the grab when it's half fermented out, so I won't even. Uh, it's no second guessing now. I know exactly when it's half fermented from its original gravity, um, and then I'll add the dry hops. Beautiful, very nice. Just once again, that's it there. Tilt hydrometer, tilt hydrometer, really cool, very cool. Wow, the world. So it's been in there for uh, nearly ten minutes, I suppose. Um, and it looks like it's stabilized. So again, with the trial in the water, it takes 10 minutes probably to um, stabilize. I uh, also took a, a reading with the other thermometer and this is very accurate, it's right on. Uh, specific gravity, I took a specific gravity test and it's uh, right on too. Um, for, well, I couldn't tell, it's not, my um, hydrometer's not that accurate. It's you know hard to tell when it's bobbing around in there. This is, uh, for all intents and purposes even more accurate so and it's holding very steady it's updating I suppose that means it's updating every six seconds um, so beautifully stable um, it very exciting can't wait to uh, can't wait to see how this goes um, I'm sure this is like the way of the future and um, as Rusty um, had a video on a build um, of a fermenting chamber um, he just had an old iPhone that uh, obviously everyone's got. I got like five of them or six of them, I think, up in the cupboard. And he just had an old iPhone, put the app on it, and uh, stuck it to the front of the fermenting fridge. And uh, that's probably what I'll do too. 
So, you know, you just go over and press the button and it tells you exactly what's going on in there. Um, 